of this one that you just saw. I don't have a test kit, so I don't have a test ready. I don't want less than 10, do I? No. I need less than nine. I want to get into it. Which one? Nine. Sometimes you see three entries. Sometimes I'll see two entries. This one is missing my test. I'll make another PowerPoint for the test. So I've got to work on this test by the weekend. And this one, of course, two entries. But now, that number seven that I told you about, he's ready. Comes right there in my PowerPoint test. So I got to make a PowerPoint test for the one you just saw. Now, I'm going to start lesson nine and get into it. I went and put on a few of my study sheets so I wouldn't have to make you wait. All right, this just naturally follows the cytoplasm because these things are floating in the cytoplasm. And that's just a title slide. Now, I like my picture, so I just use it again. It's, um, it's not water, it's kind of jelly like. It's clear. So far, there's nothing real new on that side. If you compare that slide to number one of, I think there's something. Yeah. Yeah. So there's something. I just, well, from here I take off another direction. So I'll talk both of them with the same entry about cytoplasm containing something. Now the next slide is where I start my actual discussion of the various organelles. So at this point, lesson nine departs lesson eight and takes on its own character. Um, I call this R-E-R. -E well, it's not me. We all call it R-E-R. -E it means, E-R means endoplasmic reticulum. I'll say rough ER and I'll say smooth ER. The ER, ER always stands for the two words endoplasmic reticulum. And that's not Bobby Chap, that's just a science <laughs> that does that. They're, um, they, they look kind of like a subway system in cell. They just wind all around, go, they go all over the place, and there are ribosomes stuck to the surface some of them, not all of them. Now ribosomes, if you don't know this, their whole job is to make proteins. That's what they do for a living, they make proteins. Now some ribosomes are attached to the ER and some just float around the cytoplasm. The ER that has them, it has a bumpy look when we call it rough. You're going to find out there, there's a, there's a small, more ER which doesn't have it, and we call it smooth. The only difference between the rough and the smooth is the rough has ribosomes stuck to it, smooth does not. Now, see, before, between us two though, the one that's actually hooked to the nucleus is the rough ER. If you leave the nucleus and you're walking down this little tunnel, you're going to be looking at all the little dots as you walk along this tunnel. Those are right tunnel. If you walk far enough in the tunnel, the dots will they'll stop. I'm in my tunnel, but the dots are gone. And you, by now, you're far from the nucleus. You're almost at the edge of the cell. But at this point, when the, when the dots are gone, the ribosomes are gone, then you're in the smooth ER. And you're not far from the cell exit. That's how you get out of cell. The rough ER is always near the nucleus. And as it moves away from the nucleus, and the and ribosomes become less and less in number, stuck to it, it becomes smooth ER because it's, there's no ribosomes. And continuous mean 
if, if you were in this membrane of the ER and kept going for long, you're in the nuclear membrane. It's the same. It's all continuous. But when you move out of here, and you got ribosome stuck to you, that little tunnel you're in, that little flattened tunnel, then you're in the rough ER. And if you keep walking far enough away, you keep going away from the nucleus, away from the nucleus, for a long you go, oh, where's the ribosomes go? They're not here anymore. You're still in that tunnel within the ribosomes. Then you're in the smooth ER. And if you keep walking, they say, no, you're out of set. Because one end is continuous with the nuclear membrane, and the other end is continuous with the cell membrane. You go right out of set. So, if a cell is going to make a protein that's going to be exported, sent somewhere else, it's done inside the ER. If it's going to be used by the cell, it's made by the, rib by the ribosomes floating in cell. Because that's not me leaving, is it? If you're going to leave the cell, you're going to be inside that ER. If you're not going to leave the cell, then it won't be there. You're going to be, you're going to be shipped off. So if you're making protein that the cell's got to use, then the ribosomes floating around, they make that one. If you make a protein that somebody else needs down the road, then you're going to make it in the ER so it can eventually get out of the cell and be on its way. Uh, I don't, anything more coming up? Get those and then we'll come back tomorrow and discuss them. I think that's, okay, that's not it. Get those words. And we'll come back tomorrow and we'll, we'll, we'll hit them because functions are pretty important. I'm going to tell you a lot of functions just a minute ago, but this is going to make it efficient. And I'll see you all tomorrow for lab. Be watching the lab course. I'll be putting new things on that suggestions. I'll, and I'll pay you for them in points. If you bring some, let me know you brought it. The lab grade is high because I'm paying so many extra points. Unfortunately, I can't pay points in this class. Here you make a break. The lights of someone will be, this should be red also? The top one, not the bottom one. That one.